Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. This is my historic Jund Glass deck. Glass is Glass of the Guild Pact. Multicolored creatures I control get plus one, plus one. And so as you can imagine, the deck is going to be full of multicolored creatures. As all companions, Gigantha the Wellspring is multicolored, but it imposes a restriction. So I can't have any card in my starting deck that has more than one of the same mana symbol and its cost. So for example, I could have green or green black, but I couldn't have black black red for Bedevil, for instance. So because of that, we're going to be focusing on multicolored creatures that don't violate Gigantha here. Now that's usually not an issue because we're trying to keep pretty low to the ground anyway, and the lower CMC a creature is, the less room there is for it to have redundant uh, instances of a given mana symbol. Plus they're multicolored. So unless we're talking hybrid mana, two drops should not be a problem. So we start off, this is actually, as of right now, the only multicolored uh, creature that's a one-mana creature in Historic, except for Reese the Redeemed. That's the, that's the only exception. And Reese is going to be in another deck. We'll see Reese in a bit. Uh, but F uh, Footlight Fiend is, other than that, the only one. Uh, so then we have, well, actually, we'll just go through the creatures. Dreadhorde Butcher, which is... Mm, it's, it's very good... And it's kind of bad. Uh, I'm not sure what the right number of these butchers happens to be. Right now I'm just trying one because I only have one. And if we're just going to be as aggressive as possible, then we want as many of these as possible. Uh, however, it does cut into some other slots in the deck, and so I'm not exactly sure what's the right number. Plus, Dread or Butcher is usually a pretty terrible draw later in the game. We have Glass to help with that a little bit, but even then, it's a 2-2 or a 3-3. It's, it's not very large on its own, but on curve it's fine. A curve like, for example, turn one fiend, turn two butcher, turn three glass of the guild pact is pretty substantial. And if it has to block, at least it'll deal some damage. We have two Kroxa. Yes, that's a two mana creature. <laughs> and while the escape features, you know, redundant colors, redundant instances of black and red, uh, the actual cost for the spell does not. So we can play two Kroxa. This is a late game inevitability card, I suppose. It deals with, it interacts with the opponent by making them discard a card, uh, and it turns into a 7 7 or an 8 8 later on. Plus, we have ways to get cards into our yard, and so it makes it easier to try to find it. I think two, maybe three is probably the right number, but two is, is fine uh, while I'm experimenting. This one, as opposed to Dreadhorde Butcher, which is all aggro, Stormfist Crusader, while aggressive, actually can serve sort of a mid-range role. So it is a 2-2 with Menace. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses one life. Now, that's not a may, it's a must, but that's actually pretty substantial. So on the one hand, you give your opponent a card. On the other hand, not only do you get a card, but since it happens on your turn, if you gave your opponent a card that they could use at sorcery speed, they're not going to be able to use it until their next turn. So it feels a little bit more asymmetrical than, a, say, like a Howling Mine would. Uh, and it also simply attacks. So it helps you to build a bigger board earlier on, uh, and it gives you a source of card draw in a deck that otherwise doesn't have a whole lot of it. So I, I consider this, even though it's the same cost as Butcher, and it is an aggressive creature, it's more up on the mid-range scale of things. It helps you later on in the game. Uh, then we have Removal, which is light in the deck, unfortunately. There's simply not enough, and I know that. Assassin's Trophy is a good catch-all. It does everything, but it does give our opponent a land, so it is sort of the removal of last resort to me. Even though I know it's good, I don't know that it's the... It, it doesn't feel great, and so Ongoth's Rampage, for instance, gets to also be in here, even though it also doesn't feel great, because it gives our opponent a choice of what they would like to sacrifice. Neither one is good, is, is as good as I would like, uh, but unfortunately they're what we have. Now you could run something like Bedevil, but then you'd have to give up Gigantha. Uh, Bedevil, let me, let me pull that up real quick. Let's see, just so that we're... oh, hell, that's dead. Bet. Oh yeah, Companion Filtering. There we go. It uses Black Black in the cost, so that's why we can't run that, unfortunately. Uh, so then we have Shovel Bane of Monsters. Just as a one of, I think one is fine. It's a 1-3 Death Touch creature, so it serves as a bit of a wall. And then if you can kill one of your opponent's creatures after your next upkeep, you get 3 life and you draw a card for it. So uh, it's just another source of 
and card draw. And it's it's fair enough, and you can do that every upkeep. Now unfortunately, because Angus Rampage doesn't target the actual creature itself, it doesn't necessarily work with Shovel as well as we would like. And so Rampage probably should be more Assassin's Trophies, but again, I, especially in Standard, I'm not a huge fan of giving my opponent more lands while Ugin is running around and, and whatnot. Uh, then again, it works against Ugin too, but by then the damage is done. Uh, so then we have Glow Spore Shaman. Now, this is a 3-1 that mills you for 3. If you absolutely, you're on turn 2, you don't have any other lands in your deck, and you, you know, found a land, or you used Fabled Passage on a previous turn, you can put that on top of your deck. Most of the time, though, this is just a 3-1 mill 3, which helps you find Croxa, but it also is actually a 4-2 in disguise, because, again, Glass of the Guild Pact. Skull Prophet is also a 3-1 that makes mana for you, or lets you mill cards. If you can't attack for whatever reason, because it has one or two toughness and would die, you can just sit back and mill and eventually find your, you know, you can find your titan, your elder giant. So then we have two, or Acrobat, which is, I think, one of the weaker cards in the deck and probably should be more removal, to be honest. I'm experimenting with it for right now because when the opponent doesn't have creatures, it's a 4-1 for two and one man each turn. Uh, on blocking duty, it has Death Touch, which it is in the deck, but isn't as ubiquitous as I would like normally. Uh, and then with enough pump effects, you can actually get this with two glasses. You can actually use the plus two minus two twice. Uh, so that's always that's always pretty nice. <laughs> um, now Judith is a one of in the deck. I don't know what the right number is. It's probably more than one, to be honest. Uh, she is legendary. Uh, I think that at least two is fine, and Hacrobat comes out for her. She makes your creatures a little bit bigger, so helps with the glass plan. Uh, and then when a creature you control dies, she deals one damage to any target. So she can help you to ping creatures that are getting in the way. Uh, if you have to block, that can give you a little bit more extra damage. And sometimes it can create a scenario where you can attack and no matter what the opponent does, they're dead, because if they let the creatures through, that's damage. If they kill the creatures, that's still damage. So she's, she's fine, <laughs> I would say. She should be more. Uh, Leyline Prowler is also something of a weak card, especially in a deck that has a curve as low as it does. It's in here because not so much for the mana creation. It is another source of death touch in the event that we need it. But it is a historic deck, so when you come across, say, like dinosaurs, for instance, uh, or something like that, but it also gives you lifelink, so it's a source of life gain for mono red aggro, for any deck that's trying to deprive you really quickly. Uh, then you have Ocran Assassin, secretly broken in this deck. Now it's only a three of. Okay, so here's the here's the trick. All creatures able to block it do so, and it has Death Touch. Now this is supposed to be balanced by the fact. Well, one, it's three mana, but two, it's a one one. So yeah, all creatures block it, but I only get to deal damage to one creature, and so it trades one for one, right? Well, no, because we have Glass of the Guild Pact and Judith, and we have another card that pumps as well. So you can attack, they're forced to block with everything, and then you can kill as many creatures as your power on Assassin. Now, it's not actually broken, because that doesn't work if the opponent's creatures simply attack instead. Yeah, you'll block with Death Touch, but then you take out one creature instead of all of them. Uh, with Vigilance, it actually doesn't matter, there's not a way out for them. Uh, but otherwise, it only really works on the opponent if they have to, if they can't attack because an attack wouldn't be profitable for them and they have to wait, or if a creature is summoning sick and couldn't attack, or if a creature has vigilance. It, it, because of that, it's actually not actually broken, but in situations where the opponent can't attack, it is actually broken. Also, once it attacks, remember, all creatures have to block it, so for your other creatures, they get to swing right on through. <laughs> so it, it's pretty decent, it's pretty nice, I find. We have Domri Anarchobolus, another pump effect. So creatures you control again only get their power buff, not their toughness. Uh, it can make mana, and you can use that to make a, a creature uncounterable. That's pretty good. To be fair, they often will counter the Domri first, and if they don't have another counter spell, your creature resolves anyway. But it ramps you, and then it can fight. It can force one of your creatures to fight something else. Now with Death Touch, that means you can trade any a teeny tiny little creature for a big one, and that's awesome. But because it's not simply dealing damage, it's actually fighting, it's not... I mean, it's it's fine. It's still great. It's a removal spell, but it's a three mana removal spell that might force you to lose one of your creatures. Uh, so, 
and in the process opens itself up to shock for a couple turns. But it's fine, it's only three mana, and it does pump your creatures. If nothing else, its static pump means that your aggro deck is going to have a little bit more juice to it. So then a few more, we have... Ooh, hello. Make sure that... Yeah, okay, whoa, whoa. Speedy Gonzalez, the deck over here. Ah, uh, okay, that was the next one. Vraska Gulgari Queen. So we're getting towards the top of our curve. As you can see, the deck is usually low to the ground, but there will be times when you have that extra mana, might as well use it on something. So we have Vraska. The minus three just lets us deal with a problem permanent, and are there plenty? There are shrines, there's chromatic uh, lantern, there's whatever creature gets in your way. There's stuff, and this lets you get rid of that. Cool. Uh, you can also use the plus to, when you get too many lands, just get rid of them and draw a card. Gain a tiny bit of life. So it gives you a source of card advantage late on in the game when you're drawing what would otherwise just be a bunch of dead cards. And then the emblem just wins you the game, as it should. As a Planeswalker emblem should, I suppose. Uh, Domri Chaos Bringer. This one also gives you a plus to make mana, same colors, and instead of making the creature uncounterable, it gains Riot, which of course means that it either gets a plus one plus one counter or haste. Either way, your creature probably appreciates that. It also has a minus to let you look at the top four cards and you can reveal up to two creature cards. Now in this deck, that actually puts you at an average four is a little bit less than, like, you're not actually likely to find two creatures, you're likely to find, you're almost, almost certainly going to find one, maybe you'll find two, probably not more than that. So this isn't, because we have, you know, so many planeswalkers, we have removal spells, part of the reason I can't go too heavy on removal is I have Domri in the deck. Though, to be fair, Domri is optional, and removal probably is not, actually. Um, so then we have, uh, oh, and then the, the ult makes a, a creature every turn that actually happens to also benefit from Glass of the Guild Pack because it's green and red and it has trample. Cool. Seems alright. Uh, and then we have Underrealm Lich. So if you would draw a card, instead look at the top three, put one in your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Another way to find Croxa filters through your deck such that you'll find good cards. At least that's the hope anyway. That's what you're hoping will happen. Um, just look at the top three and pick whichever one's best, add it to hand, put the rest in the yard. It does also give you a creature that can live through rats, and as I recently learned, shouts to Rukalin for pointing this out to me, uh, you actually can't be milled out while you have Underrealm Lich on the field. Because if you would draw a card, you don't, you instead do its first ability. It replaces the draw, and so you can't actually draw yourself out. Now, granted, by that point, you're, you're stuck with whatever you have on the field, and hopefully that's enough. If not, you still lose the game, but at least you're not dead to mill. And so sometimes you'll find that there are instances where you have enough on the board that if you can have another turn or two, you'll win, but mill gets you ahead of time. Well, here you go. <laughs> and then lastly, we have Garuk Cursed Huntsman, which creates two wolf tokens, two twos, that again, benefit from glass, seeing a theme here. Uh, when they die, they you put a loyalty counter on Garuk, so, Garut can't naturally get himself to the point where he has a, a, the ability to put out the emblem, the plus three, plus three, and trample to your creatures. He can also just shoot down a creature and you draw a card, so if nothing else, he replaces himself. Ideally, though, you build a bigger board, say, having two three threes or two four fours every turn. That seems okay. That seems like it might be all right. And then if they die, Garut can create an emblem. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Land base is not quite finished. So it's one swamp, or two swamps, one mountain, one forest, three blood crypts, should be four, uh, a dragon skull summit, four overgrown tomb, two woodland cemetery, should be one in place of the blood crypt, one rootbound crag, four stomping ground, and four fabled passage. And because this is made for best of one, I don't have a sideboard, really. I just kind of threw some cards in. Now, all of these thankfully do work with our companion. Uh, so you'll notice that it features three mana symbols, hybrid, black, and green. So because of that, status statue actually ends up working out. Mostly I've been playing it for the statue. Uh, this is something I can bring in against shrines, and occasionally I can bring it in against other decks as well. The plus one plus one in death touch usually, usually doesn't matter, but it can. You can save a creature or kill a bigger creature. Uh, and then shadow spear is something that gives me yet another source of lifelink and trample uh, for inevitability. It turns all of my creatures into threats, potentially, and uh, it can make my opponent's creatures lose indestructible. Occasionally that matters, but only you know, 
not, not that often. Uh, Swarm Guild Mage. Uh, this is a source of... It's a, it's a late game mana sink. Later on in the game, I can use it, I can dump it in to make my creatures gain more power and menace. And that might give me enough to swing through to take out my opponent. It effectively reduces the number of blockers that they have, and you know, I might win the game off of that. Granted though, in order to do that, I have to give up one of my potential attackers, which is Guild Mage. I can also bring it in if I need life gain, because it's a recurrent source of life gain. Uh, if nothing else, a removal spell that would have pointed at my face instead points at my creature, so that works too, I suppose. Domri's Ambush is removal, once I get a creature out, and it is one-sided. That creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalk you don't control. You may have noticed with cards like Gloatspore Shaman and Skull Servant, their power is a good bit higher. So, ta-da, this helps me take advantage of that. Uh, plus, it gets another counter, so they're even bigger. A Heraldic Banner, which is just sort of thrown in. It's not necessary, it's just something I threw in because I had it. I suppose if I were to bring it in against something, it would help me to rush down my opponents a little more by creating more power on the board. Every creature becomes even more of a threat, and so for a deck that doesn't have a lot of blockers, I, I guess it gives us a little bit more power, and it gives us more mana to try to overwhelm them with spells on a given turn, which might be useful for counterspell decks, for instance. But for the most part, it's just there because I had them. Don't, don't put too much stock in the banners. They might be right, I don't know though. Uh, two more Vrasco Golgari Queens. Uh, and so having more Planeswalkers in control matchups, especially Planeswalkers that help you to draw cards, tends to be pretty good. And so I think more Queens is good for like counterspell heavy or removal heavy control decks. Uh, when you get flooded and have too many lands, now you can put them towards some use. And then Moldervine Reclamation, uh, which is also good for wrath and removal decks. This is whenever a creature you control dies, you get the Vraska, you gain one life, draw a card. And this happens whenever a creature of yours dies. This even happens with Croxa. Once it enters, if it w didn't escape and it has to die, then you also get to get an extra card. Works out, I suppose. <laughs> so that's the deck as I have it constructed. The sideboard is not ideal, <laughs> obviously, as you may have seen. And even the main deck has some questionable choices in it. Like, for example, I like to have creatures, but I also need to have removal but I don't want to give my opponent extra permanents, but I want to make sure that I hit the permanent that I would like, and I need to hit enchantments in Historic, because Shrines, and Bogles now, and just whatever else. Uh, so there is some dipping into one ofs. If I, I guess if I had to say, if I had to change it to focus on making one of those into a four of, I would probably make it be Crusader. I, I think Crusader is probably the best of these, because it's a creature, it benefits from glass, and it's not even necessarily a bad top deck. It gives me an extra card, it has menace, so it can potentially deal with more creatures, or swing through for more creatures. Uh, and there are also some cards with menace that you can add later on, like for example, uh, let's see, let's pull up, uh, make it multicolored, here we go. Uh, so, Labyrinth Raptor has Menace, is a 2-2, and can make creatures you control with Menace bigger, but it also says when a creature you control with Menace becomes blocked, defending player sacks a creature, blocking it. Uh, so that makes it even more important for you to focus on Menace if you're going to go in that direction. Indeed, indeed you could, and so a Rakdos version of this deck, for stewing the green, might just go all in on that. Uh, unfortunately, you would have, if you want to, <laughs> run cards like Hellbonder, you have to give up Gigantha, but it's it's possible. I, I suppose it could work. Uh, <laughs> or go into a 4-drop 3-3 three, three that could be a 5-5, five, five, but mm, I, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, so that that's the deck as it stands now. Now, my daily quest is cast 20 black or green spells. Now, you may have seen from the lowered coin count from the last video, I ended up buying a pack. There was a daily deal. I can't not work on a deal, I suppose, so uh, I, I spent a, I bought a pack under a daily deal, which means that if we would like to play Jumpstart, we'd like to have the coins for that, say for the start of tomorrow, uh, then I need to accrue 1,150 coins. Now, 500 coin quest, 250, 3 100, that's 1,050. So I would need to win an extra four games to get that extra uh, card, 50, card, 50. That would be, that would do it. So that means that I need to win eight games. 
how long do we think that's going to take while I'm doing this? So 20 minute deck tech, and then getting some gameplay in. So let's give it a go. Hello? Hello? Okay, there we, there we go. We got there. Historic Jund Glass. Here goes nothing. Another thing I should point out, though, is that while I did mention Crusader, and it does seem to be really good, actually Butcher suffers from this as well. They're both rares. So if you want to dump your rares in, and you may have noticed by the fact that I was saying I need to have one more Blood Crypt, I don't have any more rares. I've been saving packs for uh, Evangeline to open. I'll go first. This is fine. This is fine. It's definitely focusing on the Golgari side of the deck, which is okay. I can live with that. Hmm. Now, I should point out about Heraldic Banner. If you do play it, you obviously name black, because Golgari and Rakdos, you know that meme where, like, there's a hand, there's a, another hand, and uh, they're shaking, and the thing that they agree on is down the bottom? Okay, so Rakdos, Golgari, black. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how that works. Okay, so let's not reveal that we have Rakdos yet. Pay two. Play out a Skull Servant. Alright, and then we can go into Vraska next turn if we need to. Otherwise, I... Yeah, it, Vraska's fine. She'll be the next play. Alright, what do we have? Oh! <gasps> Crater Hoof. Oh no. Uh-oh. Gotta hurry. Gotta go fast. Fast like Sonic. Okay, fast like Sonic. In that case... Oh man, so... With a deck like this... Oh, god, this is gonna be fun. I guess I should play something to remove their creatures. So I could do Glow Spore and Shovel. But I, I, it might be better to do Assassin so that it kind of blanks their next creature that they play. Hmm. Or I could play Vraska and just kind of go in on that plan. Alright. Man, this is tough. Is tough. Which do I do, folks? Which is the right answer? I do not know. I guess I could go assassin, try to find, or hit, no, I have to hit them. I can't just, like, wet, let them mill. No, let's go for the, let's go big. Let's go big. Uh, close poor shaman. Oh, there went glass. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, what do we have? Let's get another land back. That's good. That's fine. And then shovel. Alright, let's just build a board, I guess. See if we can get there. If they play a creature, Shevel can put a bounty counter on it, and then I can play Braska and just kill it. Or that works. Oh, jeez. Massacre Worm. Uh-oh. Actually, let's take a look at that again. That's... No. Okay. Well... That's interesting. We're actually one mana away from being able to... Let's see. Let's just attack first. Pay two life. Do I do Assassin instead? That's not big enough. Yeah, I think we have to go with Braska here, don't we? I only pick so plus and decline. Just plus to plus. Alright, this gives us two instances of potential creature kill. Oh, yep, that's fine. We can kill that. We can and we will. Oh, but now we have two to deal with. Uh-oh. That's not necessarily too terrifically bad. Alright, let's kill this thing first so we can draw a card. Don't flatter yourself. Okay. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. I do what I can. I do what I can. Alright. You've got a good head on those shoulders. For now. Uh, do we just plus so that we can try to take them out quickly? I guess that that's fine. We were born for the hunt. Alright. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's fine, though. Alright, they're getting way more mana than I would like. It's getting a little scary. Alright, supplier. Oh, was that? That was an agent. No, the scholar. 
Yeah, I forgot agent is not allowed right now. Agent is suspended or banned or something. Tormenting voice, there's another crater hoof. Well, if we keep them off creatures, then crater hoof's not so bad. So while it may hurt to hit Stitcher's supplier, we do need to keep them off of creatures if that's their game plan. Oh wow, can you stop please? Alright, there's glass. Do we just win here? Let, let's say that we play, we play glass, because of course we do. There's glass. Um, uh, we can give him the two dollar slices. And then six? Yeah, that's fourteen. That's game. And they're tapped out too. The day is yours. Yeah. Alright, they they saw it. They saw it coming. They saw it happen. They needed me to not miss the obvious play, I suppose. Hmm. It's not scalding hot anymore. <laughs> the way that I like it, scalding hot. Okay. So we'll keep it going. Wonder what we're gonna play in Jund, or in that Jund, in Jumpstart next. <laughs> We've got Jund on the mind. Maybe we'll play Jund. No, wait, you can't play more than two colors, right? Or can you? I'm not sure. I think there's like a Rainbow Land jump start you can get, but beyond that, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pokey Rabbit. Okay. Hi, Pokey Rabbit. I haven't played you yet. Yes. Oh, heck yes. Okay, remember what I said earlier? Oh, we're missing the red mana for Butcher. Oh, no. Well, if we don't find the red mana for Butcher, then we'll play Glass and just hit them with a 2-2. If we do find it, then we'll hit them and then... <laughs> USA! USA! And then we'll play Glass on the next turn. We need to try to get it... get its first counter on as quickly as possible for Butcher. Just like how in, in say, like Merfolk, for instance, or Spirits, you might develop your board and then play the Lord so that you actually can attack with that extra power you've gotten. Uh, a little bit sooner. Plus, the creatures that you play earlier are likely to have some... Oh, some utility. Well, I mean, we'll give it a go. Alas, we are missing a color. Okay. We'll see what happens coming up. Ah. It's getting hot in here. T1 Glistenroff doing something with his hair. Ah, uh, there's a, there is a right answer here. There's definitely a right answer, opponent. I like to imagine that I'm playing against someone else who's streaming, and they're talking to their chat about what on earth am I seeing now. Ooh. Ooh. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we'll play it. Come in taps. Don't let them see that we actually have the mana yet. Turned out that was the right answer, uh, because top deck Fable Passage, though I couldn't have played it this turn anyway. Ooh. Give him the nice. Okay. So I can do this. I can play Cheville. But then, I still have to actually kill the darn thing. Uh, they're just going to attack next turn anyway. It's fine. This will be fine. Alright, let them block. Or not, maybe. Let's find out. I do actually like this card very much. It's a sideboard card in Obliterator Devotion for me in Modern. Alright, that third color is green. Good to know. Sort of makes me wonder if this is the kind of deck that can play Cultivate like every other. Alright. Well, I have made my bed. Now I have to lie in it. Alright. 
is my Death Touch 3-5. Pass turn. And we're actually not going to crack this yet. Gaunti! Ooh! Ooh! Nice! Okay, well that's not good. Shoutouts to Margaret Goff from Tapstar, because that is, I think, actually her favorite card. Alright. Put a target on your counter on you. Okay. See if you feel like blocking your death touch creature with my death touch creature. Blocking mine with yours, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. They have some decent choices from which to pick. Although my deck is pretty low curve, so I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Oh, okay. I was meaning to crack it first, but it ends up working out, actually. Yeah, I was meaning to crack it in response to the trigger. That's what I get for not holding, I suppose. Okay, well, I guess I should play Lich next while they're tapped out. A 6-5. Look at that. Look at that monstrosity. A 6-5, kind of indestructible. Kind of. That lets me draw into exactly the card I need. Every time. Okay, good. Good. You let that go. Alright. What are you going to do? Oh, hello. Uh, I think we're good on glass. I think we could just use a creature instead. That would be nice. Alright, so since they're not quite, they're almost tapped out, but not quite, we'll actually play Croxa first. Just to give them slightly fewer options for a, an upcoming turn. Assassin's Trophy. Activate ability. Yeah, I, I did that prior because I was hoping I could get something out of their hand, but that is how that worked. Uh, oh, we can do both? Oh, oh my goodness! Now, we don't have an extra red mana, unfortunately. So, we're not going to be able to actually play it back this turn, but holy crap, <laughs> that was good. That did prevent them from taking six, so it, was, it might still have been worth it, especially since they look like they're building to some sort of control wing con. But uh, that is an 8-8, folks. That is a big old 8-8 waiting to happen. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. And we have more than enough cards already. Good grief. Good grief. Yeah, we're getting to that stage of the game, folks. We're hoping you just kind of overwhelm them on the cards that we can play. It might have been a mistake for me not to attack first, though, to be fair. I think we're good. Alright. And we will pass. Send it right along. Send me on my way. 5-3 and a 6-5. Turns out we have lethal on board, folks. Thief of Sanity. Uh, sure. Now, what was the card of mine that they played? It was Assassin's Trophy. It was my Assassin's Trophy. That's right. Uh, since it's in color for them, I actually didn't catch that at first. Alright, go to my turn. Make sure I'm not missing something. Who? Who now? Who now? Okay, so we can fight this Thief of Sanity, and then just outright win the game, right? Is that not correct? Let's see if this thing resolves. Okay, creature you control, creature you don't control. Fight. And then if they happen to have some shenanigans... Ah, uh, we got there, we got there. So I definitely misplayed, but we still managed to get there. Uh, Jun Glass is okay. Jun Glass is fine. Jun Glass is fire. Uh, we still have six more games to win, though, so let's see if we can keep the streak going. With my little brew. This is not something I've seen other people play. This is... I can't be the first person to come up with a glass deck, but Jun Glass? <laughs> 
I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a little culture out there that's seen that's played it a good bit, but I haven't seen it. Hmm. If they had been able to take uh, glass with thief, not that it would have made a difference that game. Ooh, okay. Oh my goodness, look at this. We have our colors and a really low curve. This looks fun, folks. This looks just so fun. Let's try it. <coughs> oh, hello. <coughs> Let's not reveal anything about ourselves just yet. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's attack first. You never know. They might have like a spectral sand or something. No, they don't. Okay, they don't. Cool. Let's play both of these. Jeez. Playing the Footlight Fiend deck is what it looks like. Mono, mono Footlight Fiend. Okay. Um, it's still right to do glass first. Croxa, because it's a discard effect, the later you do it, the better. It gives them fewer options. Plus, I... Ooh, okay. Fire away, my Footlight Fiend. Fire away, Footlight Fiend. Okay. We're about to get them out of range of shock. At least that's the ho- oh. Okay, so it's, it's Jeskai. <gasps> Alright, fire both. Boom, boom. Okay, Boomer. Now we do it. Not that it does too terribly much for us now. We still need a land. We'll see what they play up coming up. What was that? Ooh, emergency powers. Oh, okay. Wait, I have played Harpio before. Okay, I think I know what's going to happen here. So there's a few things that could happen. I could get Time Twister locked with, not locked, but with Narset. Uh, so that's one thing that I'm looking forward to. Uh, this is just, yeah, discard a card, create, draw two, and create two. Okay, uh-oh. Well, we have to play a creature, so let's play Skull Prophet, a 4-2. All right, they could kill it. They could crack one and kill it. That is true. But I still need the mana. Mmm. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that, that's another thing that Harpio does. Um, basically, you can, once you make them draw seven cards with Time Twister, you, they're not going to pay 14. Generally, my strategy against Smothering Tithe is just pay it, don't give them the extra treasure. As much mana as they already have, I don't know how much extra it's going to matter. I think I need the extra, let's see, I'm going to have four mana here. I can use that for, I don't have enough for Croxa just yet, I'll have five and then I need one more, so I can go Rampage, no. Ooh. Thinking. Yeah, it resolves, but I need to pay two here. That's always fun. Uh, I won't actually be, if I pay it, I won't be able to play glass here. We'll pay it. Okay. Since, because I only have three lands, Fable Passage will have it come in tapped anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. If I need to, next turn I can tap Skull Prophet to mill to so that I can play Croxa. If I happen at well, I'll have the mana for it. So I'll need to get a mountain with Fabled Passage. There it is. There it is. So this is the joy of playing the same opponent before. I, I did know what they were going to do. Ooh, I should have cracked the Fabled Passage first so that I would be guaranteed to get the mountain here. We'll just activate this now, just get it out of the way. All right, yeah, so my mistake, I was supposed to crack it first. It gives them a bunch of treasure, uh, but we, they don't have Narset, so I'm not getting Narset locked, but they do have Thousand Year Storm already online. Ooh, okay, so Thousand Year Storm makes a copy. It doesn't matter, it's, it's very dead regardless, but that's okay. Yeah, now we're in quite a bit of trouble. Oh, so they just shocked me three times, one, Two, three, uh, with the, the style. That's okay. Uh, shock, oh, uh-oh, we're, we're gonna be dead here in just a sec. I don't think they'd be doing this if they, well, maybe they would, actually, if they didn't have the kill. All right. We have, we actually have to decline here. Give them the extra treasure. 
Yeah, we have to. So, root bound, because we need to preserve our life total. But then we don't have the second black for Croxa. Oh, and we only two, because it's Time Twister. So it doesn't actually matter for that. Uh, in that case, I can go Fiend, Shovel, and... Or, yeah, I can go, yeah, Fiend, Shovel. That'd be, that'd be right. That's correct. Or actually, I can do Skull Prophet, so that I definitely have lethal next turn. Well, not definitely, but Shovel's one. It would be two now. Oh, it would be lethal. Lethal. Either way, it's lethal. No, we'll, we'll still do Prophet. I think that's correct. We'll play the Blood Crypt tapped. Alright, do you have me? I forgot to say hello earlier. It's, it's kind of too late. Yeah, we'll give him the good game. I, let's see. Oh, no, they... Oh, that's not the good game I was expecting. Oh, man, they time twistered and they just didn't find it. Oh, I feel, I feel bad for them. So, one of my favorite Magic players, semi-retired, is Feline Longmore. She's amazing. She's like a... You know how in fighting games you'll find players that just play their pet deck, their pet character? She has a pet deck and it's High Tide. And it runs Time Spiral. Sometimes... And it, it does the same thing. You pay six mana, untap up to six lands, and you Time Twister. So you, but you exile it on resolution. So you get to draw your seven cards back. That's great. Um... Let's see, let's keep this, this is fine, but, um, unfortunately, sometimes you just don't find it. And that's just how it is. That's a bit of a bummer, but sometimes you just don't find it. So that's why she has cards like uh, Sensei's Divining Top in the deck. Alright, pay two. Put out Butcher. And then, hiya. Hello? There we go. Okay, so let's see if we can keep this ball rolling. Tr oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, um, well, that's, that's going to be fun. Although, I think that that means, if I'm not mistaken, that they didn't have zombie infestation yet. Because they would cast that and then cast treasure hunt first. Or, and then cast treasure hunt on the next turn, so that they can use the extra lands to pop in a bunch of zombies on turn three. I would think, I may be wrong, I would think, though, that's how that works. Uh, if they do play it, though, Assassin's Trophy doesn't really help us, unfortunately. Alright, so let's see, what can we do here? Well, we hit them again, obviously. Boom, boom. Gets a counter. Uh, Woodland Cemetery. And then... Uh, I can play Hackrobat. That's a 2-3, except it's actually a 4-1. On the next turn, if they don't draw into Infestation, they'll have to play Treasure Hunt again. So we might have another turn. In that case, Hackrobat is actually the bigger creature. Uh, but I'm going to go with... Glow Spore Shaman instead, on the off chance that I might be able to mill a Croxa, maybe? Okay, no, I didn't. Uh, let's look at our hand again. Yes, we would be okay with being able to play both of those on the same turn. So we'll actually put this on top of our deck. Oh, something like an eyelash doing its thing. Bronson. Yeah, unfortunately this, this match is just gambling. Also, what is this? Turn target creature card. Oh, wow. <gasps> That's his oracle. Oh, no. Oh, it's not an infestation. Well, it might be infestation, but <clears throat> it has oracle as well. And they only have 19 cards left. So, let me let me read this again. Enter the battlefield. Look at the top X where X is your devotion to blue. Put up to one. On if X is greater than or equal to. So, for example, if I hold up Assassin's Trophy here, I'll play that out, because, obviously... I think if I hold up Assassin's Trophy and take it out in response, so they scry zero, uh, and then, unless they have zero cards in the deck, we're fine. Right? Am I missing something there? Alright, let's hit them again. Hit them for a bunch. So I think I have to hold up the Assassin's Trophy. The Astro Trophy. Um... It doesn't really matter too much what I play here. It would have been a little bit more damage if I had done the Hackrobat, but it, it would have put them to seven. Either way, I think I'm fine. 
Uh, as long as I hold that up. All right, cool. Spectacle. I could play Skull Prophet. I'm going to pass. I think that this is correct. I think that waiting here is correct. So, if they have another land, treasure hunt. Okay, we got there, we got there. Um, yeah, if they had another land, treasure hunt, then oracle, and the treasure hunt actually went through all the cards in their deck, then we would lose even with Assassin's Trophy. Uh, but it's the same clock regardless. I don't need to play out the profit. Okay, so we're four for four. I say that and I just jinxed it. Except I didn't because I just... Never mind, I want to go through that loop again. Okay, that's a cool name. It's unique enough that I don't... I think I would remember if I had seen you before. Okay. Opponent goes, you know, let's see. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Okay. And then pass. Thornwood Falls. Yay, budget deck. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have, though. Oh, maybe it's Merfolk. Alright, let's let them do their uh, explore first. So they don't have as much information. Oh, it's Pyromancer. That's unusual. Okay, so we have to activate this. And we need to get red mana. I think. No, we can get black mana so that we can go. No, it's rootbound crag, so we need to get an actual mountain or crag won't come in on tap. So let's get a mountain. We're just going to be really, really red this game. Or I could have gotten a forest. That's probably. Well, it's fine. It's fine. But now I'm not going to be able to play Ongus Ramp Rampage. Oh, I messed up. I messed up badly. Okay, okay. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll just do a swamp. And we'll play Ongrit's Rampage, and we'll just have to deal with a Pyromancer on curve, unfortunately. Um, I'm not sure what I can do about that at this point. Alright, sack a creature. But I have to do this now because it's not targeted. It just makes them sack a creature. One of the weaknesses of the card. It, it should be Assassin's Trophy. Ooh, Risen Reef. Uh-oh. Oh, Pyromancer puts in elemental tokens. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be real fun. Oh, I'm going to hate this. <laughs> I'm going to hate this so much. Well, in that case, I guess we'll play the land that we have. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, I can take one of the cards out of their hand. I don't know how much good that does here. should probably try to get a... No. Is it right to get a clock down? <gasps> oh, uh, Ocarina Assassin! Ocarina Assassin's probably right, because if they play Pyromancer, they'll have to block with it. And then I can play Judith so that it actually deals with more creatures. Okay. So, they're probably not attacking with Risen Reef. I'm gonna go- Ah. Oh. We didn't start the fire. Okay, well... I think this was the one that we're losing, folks. Yeah, no blocks. This is the one that we're losing. Well, they don't have the red mana yet. They won't have the red mana for Pyromancer. That's unfortunate. I wish that they had gone that route. Oh well. Oh well. That's okay. Uh, in that case... Uh, if I attack, they're forced to block with Risen Reef. But then I don't have removal for the upcoming shenanadoos. Shenanadoos, folks. It's a very technical magic term. Um, it doesn't matter who I attack. Whom I attack. I'll attack her. Alright, Risen Reef has to block. So we, we get rid of Risen Reef. Hopefully we get that engine to stop. What's the, the meme of the guy with the glasses saying like, This needs to stop. It's time, holds the big clock, it's time to stop! Alright, so there's that. Uh, now let's see, the next thing is we play a Shaman so that we have a land for the next turn. That would be nice. Okay, so we, we should, we'll have a land, because of Fable Passage, if nothing else. A wood, woodland Cemetery, yeah, we're, we're good on red, so I think this is fine. We'll put that on top. Why don't you don't make me mill? I would be surprised, but... Yeah, as long as you don't make me mill, we'll be good. So then I can go... Uh, what? I can go... Glow Spore... 
glow spore. I still need to actually get Croxa into the yard before I can play it again. And having a 6-6 six -six would be nice. Yeah, Pyromancer, right on time. We know we're not going to be able to draw anything for it. It might be nice to actually play Croxa first, just to deprive them of a card in hand. So that hopefully we can finally keep, we can keep Pyromancer down a little bit. Hopefully. Not at this point, it's probably not going to be that big a deal, because they have so many lands if they have an extra land in hand. It doesn't do much. So unfortunately it's, oh, jeez. Oh, Risen Reef. Oh no, not you again. Not you again. Okay, well, crap. Well then Croxa doesn't do very much here, because they're about to get two extra elementals, which is two more cards. So in that case, uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's not the way you tap. That's not the way you tap. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. I wasn't going to be able to play both this turn anyway because I had a basic mountain out. Okay, so in that case, I guess we'll just get this down. I don't feel like trading you for just an elemental. Uh, we can do better than that. There's another glass. Yeah, this hurts, but we're going to have to take it. For now. Just for now. <gasps> this is not a game we win, folks. I would be very surprised if we can win this one. We're just kind of getting drowned at this point. In the, We're getting drowned in the Risen Reef. Oh my god. I'm so glad I'm tapped out for this. So, how was your day, everyone? Mine was fine until about... 15 seconds ago. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. She's not wrong. Actually, no, she's very wrong. They're not. At all. What can you do? They have a face only a mother could love. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Unfortunately, we don't have any sort of wraths in this deck, any one-sided wrath shenanigans. Uh, decks where creatures can keep coming back from the grave can try to pull that trick off. And it's, it's fun to see happen. Okay, well, let's get one down. I don't know that it matters too much, uh, but I suppose we should keep the creatures in as best we can. So four, and then uh, Hackrobat. Oh, I was I was already clicked on you. Ah, uh, you faint. Sure, let's do that. Okay, here you are, buddy. Do your thing. Work your magic. This thing is this thing's tough. This thing's strong. I've seen this in Legacy Jund, and with good reason. It's a it's a real solid card. So that's something that they can look forward to. Yeah, no, we're not attacking. Ah, uh, it's, it's gonna hurt. Two damage. Okay, fair. I agree with that. No pyromancer. Oh, okay. It's gonna lay on the damage. Just hit hard. Just go for it. Can't argue with that, I guess. So next turn, I can add Gigantha to hand and play a Glow Spore shot. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's something to look forward to. One top, four bottom, yeah. Don't worry. I don't know what that is, but we're about to find out, I guess. And no kidding, it wasn't a land. Whale. What I would do for a Wrath. Oh, that would be silly. That would be so silly. We're, we're playing it out. Theoretically. Uh, vocal fry, vocal fry, vocal fry. Uh, nope, now we lose. <laughs> now we lose. 
we we can't we can't outpace that. He's simplistically. That's a little bit impossible. Just a just a little bit. My goodness. Look at all that. Look at all that. And they have the blue blue. Oh, they're just going to do it this turn. Because every time a land comes into play... Oh, wait, wait. Is this a may or a mu uh, must? No, it's create. It's create. And is this a may or a must? You may... Okay, you may. Oh, no, wait, no. If you don't put the card on the battlefield, put it into your hand. That's a must. Okay. So it's theoretically possible... No, it's not. It's not really. They, they can just decline to put it into play. And so it won't make the elemental, and so it won't trigger Risen Reef again. So it's actually not... If they play correctly, they actually win this turn, but it, they're not going to deck themselves. I can only hope... Wait. Well, let's find out. I don't... What? What? Just... Oh, okay, okay, good, good. Now they can play Oracle. Okay, okay. It didn't actually draw. It put it into their hand. That, that's better. That's much better. Okay, so yeah, it wasn't possible anyway. Good, good, good. Like Underrealm Lich, it just puts it in your hand. That was cool. That was cool. They got to... I, I, I told you I jinxed it. I got to see my opponent swag off on me a bit. That's cool. Oh, right. It's like when you're playing Smash Bros and you're just getting comboed all over the stage. They're taking you on a tour of Dreamland, and uh, and you get to you get to see how fun the game is. I mean, uh, okay, so if we play the mountain first, we don't get Cemetery or Fabled Passage, and Untapped, but we do get the Fiend. So I think it's actually better to give up the Fiend here, initially, so that we can have the second mana. Uh, and we'll go and get a Swamp. Oh wait, it's tapped. Might as well. And it's tapped. Boop. ba ba boop. <laughs> Alright, so for this, I'm going to go... Cemetery Skull Prophet. Uh, itchy Nose. That's the meta. Itchy Nose is the meta. Roll up the sleeves. Going to work. Ooh. Okay. I mean, obviously, if they're playing that card, they have something to make it better for them. But at least we get some use out of it, potentially. So we can go for Braska here. Uh... Uh... Do we care that much about it? Not really. We could use Queen. We could use Golgari Queen, or Braska, to get rid of it. I don't think that we care about it that much, though, to be honest. So, I can just go... Fiend? Fiend? Glass. I'm giving up a little bit of damage, but... Look at that coming next turn. And then if they want to put a creature in my way, I can kill it. Alright, my group. You reap what you sow. Yeah, you're not wrong, bud. You're not wrong, but I don't have the mana to play you this game anyway, in all likelihood. I don't know, I have four out. I guess it's possible I could have. Okay. Hey! Whoa! That was... I don't know what was in their hand, but that always seems preemptive to me. But maybe they got super hard flooded or something? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Let's see what this is. Sage of Mysteries. Eh, I mean, I, I know that there's a deck out there that uses this, and it's tier 19, but that's okay. I mean, there, there are better mill decks. Uh, but, yeah, it's okay. It would help if she herself were an enchantment, and she could, you know, proc other Sage of Mysteries. Uh, that would make it a little bit easier. But for example, the two man enchantment when you play a blue uh, spell, target player mills two. Yeah, seems okay. Um, and it's an enchantment. She trick procs off enchantments. You know, fats. <laughs> nice. It's 
sounds like the name of a restaurant that you get diabetes at. Fats. Diabetes. It's a D I A B E E T U S. Or maybe Z. Z. People outside the U.S. Is that just outside the U.S. or is that like just where the Queen's in? I don't know. I don't know. Because I think I remember in Japan it being Z instead of Z. Like, ob obviously they, they learn English there in school, too. Uh, you know what? We could go butcher. Just get an early butcher out. See if they'll block it. They will. Uh, but I think it's better to do rampage here. I actually do. Um, sh No, no, no. Maybe it's better to do shaman. So that I guarantee my oh not guarantee yeah I guarantee myself another land drop yeah so I, I still have the fable passage and I will put that on top gladly maybe that wasn't right I guess we'll find out okay all right so first we will uh, since they already know about it there's no point not playing it here I will attack see how they would like to block if at all. Alright, so that's three through. Okay. Bang. Hmm. Alright. There we go. Uh, yeah, there, that's the one. I agree. I agree. Uh, end turn. Alright, let's see. So that serves as a good late game win con. I actually have a friend who's brewing uh, vintage elves, and he, he's eschewing Crater of Behemoth. It's only Allosaurus Shepherd. That's his only win con in the deck. I mean, not really, but that's his only, like, big over-the-top win con in the deck. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. Right, you want to hit me for two? No? Okay. I can't blame them. Uh, let's see. What do we get next turn, anyway? Um, I guess it's Prowler is what we get. Black is still the most important color in the deck. So we'll go for that. Oh, how much I wish I had gotten the... Alright, so I'm actually going to play this first and pretty much force them into a block. If Well, not force them into a block, but... Well, you'll, you'll see what I mean. If they block it, then they lose both their creatures. If they don't, it gets a counter and it gets bigger. And that's good for Glass. And Domri. That's good for both of them. Alright. There's an elf. Uh-oh. Marwyn's going to get huge by the time this is over. Huge, I say. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is getting real bad. Alright. You can tap for three. Oh, no, we're not. We're not doing that yet. Not yet. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um... I could go... attack with both? Uh, but if I do that, they can just block the Marwin for free, or block with Marwin for free. If I play Glass first, then none of the blocks are safe. Oh, this is, this is tricky. So, just attack with you. Let it through, baby, let it through. Come on. Come on, baby. Alright, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Alright, so we can kill the Arch Druid here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll do it in that order. That matters. That totally matters. Alright, any tricks? Oh, oh, nice! Nice! Okay. So in that case, since they're indestructible, let's do it to a player. Alright. Cool. Cool. And then we'll play Leyline Prowler. I, I like that. That was actually pretty neat. 
a card that doesn't normally do very much, to be fair. And I do like the safety double block, given what happened. Okay, so this means that we'll have Raska into kill Marwin next turn. Uh oh, no, no, we're just dead. We're just dead. I'm just gonna be a little cute here, but yeah, let's let's do this. <laughs> just just to be silly. Just to be silly. Boom, 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 boom. You got me. You got me. That was that was cool too. That's you know, elves is pretty linear, especially now that jumpstarts come out and you have Allosaur Shepherd and Creator of Behemoth and Elvish Archdruid on top of the two lords you already had. Uh, Elvish Channeler and Elvish Perfect, I guess? Y yeah, you, you, had a, you have a lot of lords and elves. It's a really good deck. It's not quite my cup of tea because it's pretty linear. I'm just not a big fan of that. But it's okay. I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's more complicated than I give it credit for, perhaps. Jacob G. All right. All right. I like a deck like Infect, where it has that definite game plan, but, you know, the roots that you take to get to it. If you're just the, the dumb idiot that goes, uh, Herp Derp, Glycinorel, two pump spells, you're gonna die to Lightning Bolt entirely too many times. Oh, okay. There you go. That's good. That's a good card. Good cat. Good cat. And pass. Yeah, you have your mill three card. Turns out I have a mill three card. Alright, we're actually going to crack this first. Get our swamp first. Not on the off chance that it hits both swamps, but there, there's why. It, it thins it so that we're more likely to hit you, bud. Uh, I mean, why take the damage when you don't have to, I suppose? There we are. We actually do need that extra red mana. Because right now we only have one. So I guess we put Blood Crypt on top. Oh, but they can make me mill it. That, that did get the crypt out of the way. So we'll that way we have red mana. Oh, but they're going to get rid of Croxa. Okay. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Nothing I could have done about it, but that's a little lame. <laughs> it is what it is. It's okay. Alright, let's see what they hit already. They have enough that once they get the mana out, they can play... Ah, That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, well then. Well then. I guess put that one in tapped. I already know about it, might as well. Okay. Extras, yay. I think we're good now. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll decline. Uh, do we attack here, folks? What's this do? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, even if they block, they'll still be able to get it back. Alternatively, get land or creature. So I don't know what they would... I mean, they're going to block with Supplier, so I don't think it's right to attack here. I think it's right to wait. So that Fiend Artisan is about to get even bigger. Just a second here. Alright. So, Supplier. Uh-oh. Blue, blue, green, green. Yep, here it comes. There it, there it is, folks. Can I kill it? No siree. Okay, well, some things I could do. I could play Hackrobat and threaten them with Death Touch. Let's see. Oh, you're a nightmare. I didn't realize that. Interesting. Okay, whale. Whale. 
I like this uh, Green Sun's birthing pod over here. Birthing Sun. We can't actually use Vraska to kill it. Let's see, they have no cards in the yard. They're about to get the, them right back though with Supplier. So, yeah, no, we still have to though, because otherwise they're just going to keep drawing cards off of it. Shadows. I mean, there's something. We'll take it, I suppose. Oh, I swear. Oh, no, okay, okay, okay. okay. Alright. Well, that could have been worse, as I guess. I guess. We need to start laying on the beads at some point. Though, that thing Darkson is going to hit us for more than two. Stitcher Supplier after all. Oh, no! No! That's weird. They didn't play Stitcher Supplier first. Oh, no, okay, that's, that's a thing. Okay. Wait, what just happened? What killed that? What killed it? Was it another rights? Aha, okay. What killed the dinosaurs? Aha, there it is. There it is. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Swag Tusk. Yeah, unlike Burning Pod, this gets any CMC. It gets whatever CMC it feels like, folks. And you'll like it. Okay. Well, I guess we play double Glow Spore and just hope that we get the Croxa. Lord knows we can cast it. We could also get a Hacrobat into play. But now we can't threaten them with Death Touch because we did that. Yeah, the joy of only having one green source. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, boy. Thankfully, it's not like you have trample or anything yet. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's see. Um, yeah, I can attack first and then Hacrobat with Death Touch open. I guess that's a thing. No matter what, I'll deal the damage. Okay, good. Alright, and then just hold up a Death Touch creature, I guess. Pass the turn. Yeah, that's something I'm sure they haven't seen all too often. Okay. We'll just do this now. Gain Death Touch. Alright. Do what we have to do. We do what we must because we can. We do what we must. Because we can. Oh my god, you're killing me. This is entirely too much. Alright. Doesn't matter. Please, no, okay. Um. I should have done Domri first. That's that's on me. That's my bad. Oh, I look forward to seeing you. I'm running away. Oh, I must have to be, you know, like you do. Yeah, I was a little shy on mana to be able to play Domri and Assassin anyway, but I could have done Domri Butcher. That would have been nice. All right, hold it back. Hold it back, folks. We're in a point now where Assassin doesn't do all that much. Oh, they're attacking. Oh, interesting. Let's do this. I mean, it's not like they can't get them right back. And it's entirely possible that what they're doing here is they're trying to create an opening for uh, Uro to come out. So that I don't have enough power to block Uro on the first go. That's entirely possible that that's what's going on. Or it could just be their life is getting low. Let's just swing at them. That's probably what it is. Okay. If they play Uro here, I can give Riot, which means haste in this case, to Ocarina Assassin. And for the. Yep, okay, okay, there we go. So we can get rid of this Uro here. 
that's fine. They are going to gain life and get them right back. So all of those ghouls we just worked hard to get rid of, they're gone. They're gone. Just period. So, um, yeah, we lose. We lose the game. Uh, they're about to get that right back anyway, so might as well. Goes. Now wait a minute. I could go not it doesn't matter. I could go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, play a Gigantha. That's not going to save me either though. Uh, so we'll just do this. Riot Death Touch. Kinda just wanna be cute. Block it. Good game. I lose. The only other thing I can do at this point is I can put Butcher out on the field, play the Stomping Ground, and say go. Uh, I'll be able to. Oh, nope. Creeping Chill. They got me. So I can block one of them and then deal the last point to myself. Yeah, they got me. That's okay. That, that's cute. I like the deck. I like what's going on. I think that Ghoul is... I mean, Dredge will find its way into every format. Every stinking format. But we need three more. We need three more wins. Let's see. We can do this. Let's see. Can I do it before the one hour, 45 minute mark? Just trying to get up enough coins so that I can play Jumpstart uh, tomorrow without... I can just go immediately into Jumpstart. Work hard, play hard. Okay. Work hard, play hard. Since there's no A. It's work hard. Let's pretend that's how that's pronounced. Okay, so I don't have red mana, but I think that this is still fine. Man, I, I really... There's a 1 in 2 chance that this Woodland Cemetery would be a Blood Crypt instead. Uh, in which case, then I wouldn't have green mana, so... Mm. Right, so we're keeping, absolutely. Hero. Hero. Every time I do that, I think of, uh... I am Galstaff, Sorcerer of Light. Then how come you had to cast Magic Missile? Ooh! Ooh! Nice, I like what you're doing there. Okay. Things we can do. We can play out the Skull Prophet, and then next turn, even if we don't draw a land, we'll be able to go Glass Footlight Fiend. I don't know. I don't know if that's right. I don't know what's right. I don't know what to believe anymore. Go on. Alright, this gives me a chance, if I find a land, then I can play Raska and kill the Sprite Dragon. So, actually we're gonna do this. We'll do this. It is actual ramp. Actual factual ramp. So, in the context of this deck, it's a better Paradise Druid. Unsummon. Okay. Do we just do it again? Well, I mean, I guess Essence Scatter's a card, but you can't you can't play scared. You can't play around every day. Alright. Hit him where it hurts. In the face. Right in the face. Exactly in the face. Do it again. Ooh, nice. Hey, that works. I'm just trying to get up to enough mana. Oh my god. Well, now it's going to be too late. Oh boy. Yeah, it's too late. Uh, both of those even come in tapped. Let's get the crypt. I mean, yeah, they fly. Might as well. It's not looking great, folks. 
I'm gonna call that. That's a, that's a good game. I can see the writing on the wall. Oh, right. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't find your lands. The deck runs 23, uh, so I had a decent shot at finding them. Plus, it has obviously mana ramp, as you saw. Tiny little, just barely enough to count as the card draw, flip two. Oh, come on. Went from four in a row. I need to get another win in here. Before I run out of coffee, which is happening in just a minute. Oh, and then who knows how bad the gameplay is going to be, right? That's how that works. Well, hey, 30 seconds. Cool. Seven fat. Uh, no relation to Boba Fett. Django Fett. Alright, let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is super cute, and I love everything about it. I'm actually going to start off, then, playing the Overgrown Tomb, so that I have access to Assassin's... No, I, should, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, it's fine, because I need it for Skull Servant, Skull Prophet anyway. Alright, let's see. So now what? Um... We can spam the fiends, which I think is probably right. hi -ya. See what's coming up. Boom. And then you. And then you. So, growth spiral. Play growth spiral. Yep, called it. Called it. Okay, uh-oh. Please be land destruction. Please be an imitator. Oh no, it's not. Okay. This is, I guess, the counter snake creature? Oh wait, yeah, that's fine. Alright, uh, I guess we attack first. Hiya? No? No? Nine? Nine? Alright, see if this resolves. So I say, if I get punished for not playing a land first because of lofty denial, I'll be. Less than happy. Alright, so we have all of our... Okay, there we go. Colors. Growth Spiral. And it didn't find a land. No land in hand. Ah, there it is. Top deck land. A little bit late there, Triome. Ah, Teferi. Alright. Alright. Who's ready for a good time? You know I am. Okay. Whale. So things I can do here... Uh, if I do Assassin's Trophy, they'll phase it out. Well, they're going to phase out anyway. Um, hmm. Thinking. These two? Four at you, two, two, two. So no matter what they phase, to fairies should be done. Should be done, skis. So they can phase out the skull pro- oh, no, okay, that's fair. I'm alright with that. That makes sense. If it's going to die anyway, might as well. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. As long as I do this, I think we'll be okay. We should be okay. Maybe we'll be okay. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh boy. So actually that that kills the Chandra, doesn't it? Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Alright. Yep, you, know, you just fire one, two, three. Alright, let's I'll try to come back for you. Alright. That actually ends up saving Yeah, we don't want to draw more lands. That ends up saving the Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, Fiend is fun, folks. Fiend is fun. Uh you know what? We can play Assassin. We can add Giganta to hand. Add Giganta and then just hold up Assassin's Trophy? 
That doesn't feel right, though. So we'll do Assassin Hold Up Assassin's Trophy. Alright. There's... There goes nothing. Ooh, boy. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, once they get to that mana... Jeez. What just happened? Focused and Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping they'd do Narset first. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter too much now. Alright, puts it to two. Meditate and prepare. Ooh, Sarkon. Eh, yikes. That's a problem. So, we can... Get rid of that so that we can kill Garuk. Alright. So at least we can deal with that threat. Because otherwise I can see another beast in its, uh, in its future. Oh, super friends. Super friends. Hasty. Okay. So then... We can go... I think it's probably better to put Gigantha in hand, right? And just have that for later? It's a 6-6. It's a six, six versus the Death Touch creature now. Oh god, not again. Not again. Oh. Oh my goodness, not today. Not today. I want to get another... I would like to get another win. Come on. Come on. Oh jeez. Well, I'm very glad I didn't put the Prowler out now. Now. Emblem? Yep, okay. That's right. No pressure. <laughs> okay, well that, that laugh is... <sighs> oh no. I guess that that does... Wait, we're shy on mana. We're one sh Oh, no. Well, that's alright. Um, if I attack with Assassin, it does force the block here. Uh, it doesn't matter what I attack. It has to block regardless. It's not a trade you'd like to make, but, you know, you do what you have to do. I can try... I mean, whatever I play is going to die, regardless, but I can try to do Prowler and then Garuk next turn, but there is zero chance that they let this thing live. There is no chance at all in any timeline where this thing lives. Okay, at least it survives Chandra's minus, minus three, so they'd have to use the minus X. If nothing else, at least there's that. Not that it matters too much. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. A little bit. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. Why am I not conceding here? Because it's it's fine. I probably should though, just to. I'm always a step ahead. Yeah. It's a matter of giving. Oh, they're targeting me. Okay. Just don't know about my Croxa. Okay. Why is that a plus, dear God? We will adapt to any threat. Okay. Well, it, it lived. Maybe. <gasps> no. 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 That's a good game. That's a good stinking game. Oh no. Ah. <coughs> ah. All right, whale, whale. Let's just let's just play. <laughs> I should speed up when I know I'm dead. On the one hand, you win zero percent of the games you concede. On the other hand, I'm making you sit through it too. Maybe I should just concede. I don't know. When it looks really bad like that, I don't. I just don't have a chance. This is this is an aggro deck. Mm, you could argue mid range. It's an aggro deck. Uh, if we don't win early on, or at least establish a dominant position early on, we lose, so I should know when I'm beaten. Oh, 
Ooh, okay. Yes, this is a keep, but okay. Always fun when you're missing a color in a three color deck. Sadly, there isn't a tri land right now that's available in Historic for Jund. There is for Mardu, and I've considered Mardu. I, I'm not as interested in the Orzhov and, uh, and Boros cards. I'm not as interested as I am in Glowspore and Skull Prophet and Ocarina Assassin. They just, and Dahmer, they seem to work a lot better, in my estimation. Yeah, we'll keep. Oh, God. And then to make matters worse, we are on the draw. I guess that gives us a little bit of an easier time finding black mana, but I would like to get aggressive. I can. Okay, so if it's a Finlarker deck, like, this is Obliterator. Period. This is Obliterator. Uh, so I need to keep the Assassin. What's a card that doesn't do very much in this spot? Hmm. Domri? Domri actually might hurt because of Assassin. Oddly enough, it might. Though I would appreciate the ramp. Yeah, unfortunately, you, I think you have to go, bud. You haven't seen the last of me. To be fair, though, the same thing is true of Judith. Judith Priest. Yeah, we missed our color. So I, I gave up the wrong card. I, I did indeed give up the only card we could cast. Unless I find some black mana. Black being the most important color in the deck. I, I missed, I did that incorrectly. It should have been Judith to go. Similar reasoning, also a three drop. I just messed up, period. That one's on me. Discard two card, well, I guess we can fix it now. So it, it ended up perhaps not mattering, maybe? Maybe? I'd like to be able to play, well, let's see. Ah, Butcher's probably the one to go, actually. Oh, boy. I had Giganta to hand. Yeah, I messed up. That's okay. Ooh, Wrinkle. Alright, what modes are you picking? Draw a discard? Each, just discard. Well, that's easy. Oh, hi, bud. Uh, I'll concede. Once again, I, I'm not going to play it out at this point if I know that I'm done, unfortunately. Uh, so with that, with it being that Domri, there's nothing that I could have done. It made mana, but I still couldn't play anything in my, uh, in my hand. So that was... Uh, I knew that was an iffy keep, but yeah, it, it came back to bite me. You know, the, most, the, the color that ties the deck together is black, so if you don't have it, you may be in for a bit of a hard time. You're gonna have a bad time, as a certain uh, small skeleton named Sans would say. I, I, I wanted to say that. Just, there you go. All right, 30 seconds again. No sub 30. All right. So is it after 30 seconds it gives you a new message? Uh, okay. Ready, fight. Spacehawk 182. I, I think of that as a band name because of Blink-182. Okay. Yeah, we keep. We keep. This is good. This is okay. I, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> yes, it's good. Alright. So let's see if I draw a land here. Nope. Alright, so then Passage goes first. Alright. So then we get a Swamp. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's good a good card. I'll just activate it now. Just to save some time. Activate it now. Alright, Swamp. Swamp time. Um, yeah, Stomping Grounds. Get out of Skull Prophet. Hello. So that on the next turn, I can play Shaman. I, I can play Shaman and Skull Prophet, and then on the next turn, I can play Glass. Uh-oh. Oh, it's that deck. Oh, it's that deck. Oh, fun. We need to put the clock on early, then. Okay. Play you. Play you. So my life total kind of doesn't matter in this matchup, unfortunately. Alright, let's see. 
I think we're good to climb. Yeah, we, we have the black black and we'll have the red red. Hi, Aetherborn. Well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be real fun. Let's see. So we can go glass. Hi-ya. It's a, also a technical magic term. Hi-ya. Let's just go for it. YOLO. Yeah, just Aetherborn, right? You have to save uh, Vito. Don't, do you? Do you? This is the, uh, yeah, that's you. Okay. Well, cool. Yay, we, we take those, I guess. Alright. And then, net, for my next trick, I could play Croxa or I could play Hackrobat here. I think for now it's probably fine to do Hackrobat. Just build some more power on the board. Again, it's usually better to wait to use your untargeted discard effects because you give them fewer choices as to what they'll discard. Ooh. Ooh. Let's find out. Champion of Dusk. X is the number of vampires you control. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we can kill both of those. And indeed, we probably will, but unfortunately, they're not going to block with night. Yeah, I think that this is probably correct. We'll try this. We'll try this out. So they'll force me to activate it. I, it doesn't matter which one I, I do, ultimately. Uh, <clears throat> uh, unless I'm missing something, no, that's it. They don't have the mana to turn on night. Okay. Uh, so we'll go you. Play you. All right, make them discard whatever. <clears throat> <clears throat> My throat. Am I out? No, I'm not yet. I refrained. Next turn, they have to worry about the 7-7 seven, seven of death. 7-7 seven, seven of justice. Or, or that can happen. Alright, top deck exquisite blood. We're dead to it. Oh. Alright, killing it. Fair, fair. I mean, obviously I have to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, itchy, itchy everything. All right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, bud? Make them discard and lose three, since they can't discard. And then let them come in tapped and pass the turn. I have a seven, seven. Okay. Uh, oh, for draw. That's fair. So, put a count... Wait. It is a vampire. A zombie vampire. So, death touch, lifelink, for... Yeah. How many cards do we have in the yard? Yeah, the lifelink's a problem. We're about to have seven next turn, so we can't just use Gigantha for it either. That's going to be a problem. Now, it's the lifelink and death touch are temporary, though. So we're not going to block. We're actually just going to take it. Put them back to 19. All right, let's see what's happening here. Do you have another creature? How much am I going to regret this? Oh, they're sacking to draw a card. Oh, they gain life, so they're about to get it right back. That's right, that's right. That's right. Okay, so things we can do. Attack here. Boom. Okay. We can play Domri later. Uh, Darkness will always return. Alright. 
kill that thing? It may have been incorrect to do that. Alright, put that in hand. It may have been incorrect because now I can't use it on Vito. There's another one, anyway. And there's a- oh, a sword. Uh-oh. Oh, they didn't go for- yeah, they did. They went for killing. Oh, hitting me. Oh, that makes sense because they gained free life. That's fair. That's fair. Um... So this will be a five power creature. So this is this is correct. Decline. Oh, you idiot! You forgot to give it haste. Oh no no no! This isn't the one that gives riot. Never mind. Never mind. This isn't the one that gives riot. I bow to no one. It's okay then. Wrong Domri. There's two Domri's in the deck. One gives Riot, the other makes them uncounterable. Okay. I mean, we're fine. We can we can live through this. They'll draw a card off of Castle. Draw a Cad. Eventually, they they can get out of this, and that's a little scary. Oh, they left one in hand. With my left total as low as it is. I guess that's okay, actually. Alright, um... Okay, so they gave up. I was trying to decide which creature not to attack with, and it's probably close for Shaman. Um, because I was going to leave Crusader and one creature back to block the others. Um, so yeah, there's that. There is that. And then when they eventually had to go on blocking duty, Domri could fight. Right, dos mas. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, well, well, we'll get there eventually. We'll get there. So, so much for 1.45. I was trying to do it before an hour 45, so I guess we'll do it before two hours. Laser Noodles 42. Well, I appreciate the 42. Shoutouts to Douglas Adams. Okay, so, keep. I can go Swamp, and then next turn Stomping Ground Skull Prophet, and then next turn Fiend Guild, or Fiend Glass. Okay, that looks fine. Out of coffee. Ah, tis a shame. For shame. Alright. Well then. I see it in the art. I still, no matter how many times I look at this, I can barely see it. Hello. Okay. So then... Attack. Yeah. Boom. Boom, bam, baby. Alright. There we go. I appreciate having this extra card in hand. The restriction for this deck is minimal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Why, Jay? Why? Why do you have to do this? Alright, so they can't block, so either way it dies. I wish I could kill this thing right now, but alas, I cannot. So... Oh, not that. Fiends? Crocs up. Alright, there's nothing I can discard that can actually slow them down all that much, unfortunately. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Well, if it's not Assassin's Trophy, yeah, it's not. Okay, well, things that can save me here. I only have one card in the graveyard. So, let's see. I can play this. Now I have five mana. I can play Glass. And assassin. Oh, hello, not you. Test screen, why? Yeah, and then we just swing, let a little bit through. 
and then threaten them with the death touch creature. Not that it matters because this thing flies on its own. Oh boy. Oh crap. Oh now it flies too. No it doesn't, that's half a creature. Oh boy. Uh oh. Yeah I think this is the part where it's just kind of over, unfortunately. I don't think we can win from here. No, we can't. We're done. Good game. Literally any other spell at this point. Just, ah, you got me. You got me. Yeah, that that's a problem, folks. That's a problem. I didn't have a kill spell, so it, it got to just run out of control. Run amok. That wasn't even a bad start. There's just nothing you can do at that point, I suppose. The deck got to do its thing. And we couldn't stop it. So, yeah, deck needs more removal, for sure. Uh, more low to the ground removal. Speaking of, I guess we have something now. Though if I get a mountain, I'm not going to be able to use... Oh god! Okay, so I, I have to choose between Rampage or Skull Prophet. And since I'm seeing a Breeding Pool and a Karuga, I think I choose Skull Prophet here. Which is unfortunate. Maybe I should have played the cemetery. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Well, again, one in two chance that that would be a blood crypt instead. In which case, this would be easy. Alright, so we get a swamp. Oh, hi. Okay. Yeah, I think that that's correct. Oh, what is this? Shrines? Uh-oh. Well, we can kill that, so that's okay. That's okay. We can blow that out. It works out. Boom. Boom. It could be like a Kruga shrine deck, where they only play the shrines that are high CMC. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I have no idea. Appreciate this card, though. Okay. Whale. Whale. There's Assassin. Mm. Prophet. Prophet. All of the Prophet. Plus to plus. Although we have so much mana, I actually could just sack this swamp. Draw a card. Yeah, I will. I will. That's fine. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, we have a ton of mana. It's a very technical magic term. A ton of mana. Still no red, though. We look like a Golgari deck, not a gen deck. As you do. Gift of Paradise. Oh, boy. So, uh... Do I take out the gift? Yeah, we still don't have red. Oh, uh, crap. Um, okay. Let's see. Are they missing any colors? They're missing red, potentially. I don't know if it's worth it. Because I, I don't know if they're playing red, actually. Uh, but this would make it where it adds two mana. Then you want color. So it slows them down a tiny bit, maybe. Maybe not even that, though. Um... So we can go Underrealm Lich. We're doing that regardless, of course. And... Maybe I... No, it's fine. Alright, I'll try it. I don't know that that's right, though, to be fair. I don't know that that's right. <sighs> Maybe this keeps them off of red mana, if that's something that's even in their deck. Nope, nope, it's... Alright, it's cool. Yeah, activate this, pay four, it's indestructible. Choose one. Uh, what's the one to get here? Glass. Alright. On to my turn. Hey, mana! Um, yeah, I think we're good on... Yeah, let's do Blood Crypt. Alright. 
I'm actually going to play Assassin here. I don't know that they even have creatures, to be honest. It is a Shatter the Sky deck. I mean, they have creatures, but Rejuvenator. So do I just need to go all in on them? I mean, either way, it's going to improve my power by one. So, we will play Assassin, and just hit them for a bit. Cool, 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 cool. Aha! I see you too have an Underrealm Lich. Mine is about to be bigger. At least that's the hope. Also, they have to block... Oh! Oh. Hi, Domri. So, they're going to be forced to block uh, Assassin with Lich, which is fine for them. They're okay with that. I have a sneaking suspicion that they're okay with that. Alright, so this gives us another source of red mana. If I attack, though, it's dead. So we'll attack with both. Alright, obvious block is obvious. Sorry. I like what their deck is doing, though. In general, I would say. Uh, yeah, let's go to damage. Alright, so they'll make it indestructible, as you do. Cool. Cool. Alright. Hi. Yeah. And then I'll just play another assassin. Alright, we'll see what they get to add to their hand. Actually, let's not see. Oh, yeah, it does have red mana. Okay, so that was a good call then. Five color shenanigans. I'm not looking forward to that. Alright, Karuba in hand. What else were they going to spend that on? You might as well attack. You're not going to be able to block this in the coming turn anyway. Um, I can go. I can play Fiend and Glass. I would like to have another land though. Can I please have another land? Fiend. Alright, whale. Let's do this again. Same old story, same old song and dance. Alright. Hit them for four more. Yep. On top of the four that they take, I took right there. Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? Since I already did that, I made a mistake. Alright. I don't know why I didn't see that. But yeah, that, that was that was my bad. That was my mistake. For sure. Uh, if I was going to do glass, I should have done it pre-combat anyway. So, I just... Why be good when you can be lucky, I guess? Oh, hi, Cavalier. Oh. That might be a bit of a problem. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not quite sure yet if it is. Still thinking, still debating that. Go into my turn. Rootbound crack. Doesn't hurt us. And it's more red mana. Okay. So I get two spells, potentially. I can go Domri and then Find Stuff. Domri Find Stuff seems okay. Um, if Domri gets to live, and this thing has Reach but no Trample. I think that this is probably okay. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. Underrealm, if I put glass out, 
This is a 5-4. They block here, hit for 2. Glass, I could do Domri Glass, force them to block the Lich, 3 at them, they lose their Cavalier, they get to put what on top of their deck? It's okay that it's taking down on me. Another target card, just a card, period. Oh boy. Oh, because then they could put Ultimatum on top. Okay, so that's not a great idea. I don't necessarily want to kill this Cavalier. Not yet, anyway. Alright, so we'll play that. Yeah, I used my timeout. I mean, that's what they're there for. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I would say that's nice. We will pass. Okay. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Karuga. Yeah, that seems okay. Each other permanent you control, so. Okay, each other. So they draw. They have two permanents? Oh yeah, they have gift. That's right. Uh, yes, you may attack. How would you like to attack? Nope, you would not. Okay, I don't blame you. Ooh, another Croxa. Let's see. Can we finish them here? Finish them. Uh, so we need to not take Croxa, actually. That's one we cannot take. We take Stomping Ground. Croxa's in the yard. We can play Croxa with Riot and force them into a crazy block. Red? Doesn't really matter too much. We'll say the two prophets. All right, his riot. And you know what that means? Haste. Okay. Um. So at this point, I am still worried about ultimatum. I don't know what how I can play around that, to be honest. Do we just lose if we attack with everything? Let's see. Ultimatum. Yeah, we're actually dead no matter what. If they don't misplay this, if we attack and we kill Cavalier, and we don't exile it, then we're just dead. So we need to actually have enough to go on an all-out swing. Which we don't have right now. We just don't. Not yet. We're getting there. But we're not there yet. Oh, but we're so close. We're not actually as close as I want to say, because if they play another land, which they have, they'll get another Zamboni. Yep, okay, so there's a Zamboni. Hi, Zamboni. If they attack with Cavalier, then we're okay. Because then we'll have a turn of reprieve. And we could theoretically get through. Oh no. Do they have any ghouls? Not yet, at least. Okay, that's fine. That gets them up to nine. That's not fine. Oh, how do we get out of this? Tamio. Regrowth. <gasps> Regrowth ultimatum! No, they're not. And fine. Eerie Ultimatum. Alright. Which one is Eerie Ultimatum? I, I can't... Ruinous is the, the one I was thinking of. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go for it. Shovel. Do I just need more creatures? No, I need more power. I think. I think I need more power. Okay. I'm crazy. Where do you see my mates? My mates. He reminds me of Birdie in Street Fighter. A character I abhor with a passion. Okay, so sadly both of these make gruel. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is there a way that we can do this this turn? Uh, so next turn they'll have the mana to get ultimatum and then we lose. So we have to do it this turn. Croxa, fight Cavalier. 
Um, yeah, Croxa fight Cavalier. Croxa attack, discard. Let's say that they discard something where they don't take damage. Oh, I have zero. I have to hurry. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, fight. Creature you control fights creature you don't control. Alright, gotta hurry. Gotta go fast. Okay. Gotta go quickly. Alright, and we actually lose now. Is that ruinous? Yeah, they put ruinous on top. Alright, so that's fine. It's not actually fine, but now we aren't necessarily dead. At least we're not necessarily dead. Okay. Creature's gonna gain riot. <laughs> this ain't gonna be one of those quiet riots. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you, bud. Alright. Uh, haste. Can I actually cast this? Off what? Oh, it has haste. That's right, that's right. Uh, but no, we're not doing that. Alright, make him do it. Block with everything. Do I do I get them? Do I win? I don't think I do, right? I don't think I win this. Karuga block Croxa, and then they take three. Right? Alright. And then we lose. Good game. Well, it was a good run, folks. It was an okay run. To the library. Eerie Ultimatum. What is that card? Surely they have the mana for this, right? White, white, white. Yeah, okay. They had it. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. Yep, one of them. Um, theoretically we could still win. It's not all that likely, but we could. Theoretically. <gasps> they... How? Oh, that's right, because we attack. We attack. They didn't have a blocker. They didn't play a land. They didn't play a land. Oh my goodness. We got rid of all their zombies, and I just took it for granted that they'll have a land. They did not. Cauldron's Gift. Oh, wow. Okay, well... So that happened. One more. No mas. Alright, we're, we're over the two hour mark. This is what I get for having to win eight games to make it work. Ooh. I just, I just assumed, I guess. I just subconsciously thought, you know what, they're gonna have a zombie no matter what. No! No, they didn't. <laughs> no, they didn't. Okay. Well, again, we're missing that, that color. I mean, I'll, I'll keep. See, how, see if we can make this work. We can get Crusader out, if nothing else. So, and Crusader can help us to draw into it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Alright. Just crack it here. Should wait until the end of my turn. Or end of their turn, rather. Play the Crusader. Alright, well that was fun. You win 0% of the games you can save, folks. There's my, there's my motto. That should be in my Twitter bio. Or be the, the headline picture. Alright, whale. Anytime, anytime. You're cute though, I guess. A little. Maybe. I don't know. Alright. Debating if they would like to shock it, maybe? I don't know. Um, they have to have something. Maybe they're just AFK for a moment. It happens. Oh, nope, they're here. Alright. They did something. They did stuff. Fire Prophecy. Okay. Okay. And then what's the bit about drawing a card? Let me put a card in there. Okay, cool. Um... Well, in that case, 
I guess we'll just play glass and say go. The curse of the base. There are only four basics in this deck. But there isn't a Jund Triland, so... And there aren't those fetch Ah. Oh. The Smash Smash song. Somba. Okay. I can use it just to get Gigantha into hand. I don't think that that's worth it. The two damage, I don't think that's worth it. Well, note to self, next time, show off one of the two color versions. I do rather like this, but occasionally, man, I can get the shoe. Occasionally. Aha! Better late than never, I always say. Alright. Oh, why did I play that one? It's supposed to be Leyline Prowler. I could have gone Domri into Skull's Prophet if that's what I was going to do. Well, it's okay. I guess it kind of ended up working out. Not really. Alright, Prowler, of course, has Lifelink, which we could use right about now. Uh, we'd have lost Domri, though, if we'd done that. That's okay. That's okay. Well, if I find a land off the top here, I can play Domri Prowler, but I'm probably going to have to take two in order to do that. Please, 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 please be out of Fire Prophecies. And don't play a giant creature. Please. I am begging you. Please. Oh yeah, it's a tomb. Alright, so we'd have to do... So we can go Domri Prowler. Which sounds like a weird Sonic fanfic thing. Yeah, this is fine. Plus, make green. And Leyline Prowler. Doesn't matter, I could have done black, but oh well. So now it's a 4 4. That's pretty fun. Which means it's out of prophecy range, uh, because it has a buff from Domri, and it has a buff from Glass. I'd say that that's okay. That's decent. A little bit. Uh-oh. <sighs> well. Well. We took two for naught. Oh! Hello, are we just dead here? Well, um, maybe, actually, maybe we are. All right, shaman first. I don't think we need any more lands. I think we're good. Uh, assassin. Fight you and you, since that thing can kill us very quickly. I mean, we're, we're going to die anyway, but I'm going to hold out for as long as I can. Why do you have to do this to me? Why do you have to do this to me? So they don't even have to attack at this point. Yep, one. And then they hit me for one. I have to block here, actually. I, I don't have a choice. I have to block. Ah ha 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 ha. Good game. You got me. Why am I laughing for my opponent? Right, there we go. So we made some misplays didn't play as quickly as we could have with the Domri, which might have saved us a little bit of damage had it gone to Domri instead. Oh, oh, I don't know. That was just misplay on my part. Yeah, that's a, that's a good day. Who needs all the goblins when you can just have two goblins and a ton of removal spells? Three fire prophecies, a lava coil, and a skewer. Yeah, that's a that's a decent bit. 
Yeah, we keep. It's everything we need, if not everything we want. So I can go Tomb Fiend, Cemetery, Prophet, or Shaman. I like to do Prophet so that I can play the Fable Passage and then have enough mana for Leyline Prowler. Oh, Pelt Collector, okay. I will make this trade. They, they, <laughs> it doesn't matter though. If they, even if they put a counter on it, if they attack and block, I'll deal two to it. You see. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's an elf. That's an elf. Sure is. Oh, please attack me. Please attack. Oh. Okay. Deal it to you. And down. Okay, so that worked out. As, as well as anything could, I suppose. So there's Skull Prophet. Okay, how dead it- oh no, it's not dead. It's Green Jay. For some reason I'm used to seeing black there with Dwynan's Elite. Because of modern, I guess. Non-creature- uh, non-human enters the battlefield- oh boy. Oh, that's fun. It's going to be fun. Yeah, no blocks. Not with my ramp. Uh, yeah, we'll play the Prowler. And let it come in tapped. Ta-da! So we have our colors. And Fable Passage will make its untapped debut next turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh oh. Yeah. I guess they can put a counter on it if they feel like it. Why not? Yep. Okay, there we go. Attack with it, please. I will make that trade. Once again. Alright. Before it gets too much bigger. Okay. Sure. I'll get red just in case Croxus shows up. Okay. Getting bigger, folks. I don't know if I need to attack here, though. I feel like I'm supposed to, though. I feel like I'm supposed to attack. If I don't, I would just mill. Yeah, that's fair. It feels weird trading four power for two, but they're the inevitable deck for reasons like that. Also, the more elves they still have, the better Archdrew gets. So I can go Rampage and Jukantha to hand, or I can play Domri. Guess which one I'm going to do. Alright, so we can actually go Domri, Cemetery, and then play Rampage. We're going to lose Domri no matter what though, aren't we? No, no it's not, it's not a given. But that is a three? Minus three. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna hurt when this is through. Alright, creature, target them. Alright, so they sack the token, of course, as you do. I heard the sound, there it goes. I guess my computer's just being slow. All right, so let's see what they would like to do here. Oracle, ooh, that's not, what is that? 
Oh, Ranger. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ruh oh, Raggy. Yep, okay. Just the one? I think I make this trade. We're about to get more creatures in hand anyway. And again, I, I want to be careful about how many elves I let them keep out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Land first. Land first. Thin the deck. Thin the deck. Whoa. Eyes. Uh, swap. Alright, let's see. What do we have? Maybe I'll hang on to these. Okay. Hey, that works. So there's Crusader. Stormfist Crusaders. It's the new uh, JoJo part. Alright. And thankfully, those are actually buff enough. Okay, the next turn we still won't have enough mana for Gigantha, but we get to get two cards added to our hand. Alright, so, oh, there we go. There goes another one, and a Channeler. Or a Clan Caller, not Channeler, Clan Caller. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, adventure side first. Adventure time. And there that goes. Okay. I'll try to make this as hard on them as I can, but at this point I can't promise as much. Alright. Here we go. Let's each draw a card so they get their clan caller. Ooh, Croxa. Oh, we can play and then use Croxa, can't we? How many lands do we have, or how many cards? Yeah, we have way more than enough. Holy crap, we have more than enough. And we can even give it Raya. Dang, dude. Okay, well let's do this first. Oh, we can make them discard their whole hand! It'll enter, enter, and attack, all in the same turn. Although, I don't know that this is... It's spent on a creature spell, but I don't know if it counts as being cast. Either way, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up Domri just yet. <laughs> this ain't going to be one of those quiet rides. If you say so, bud. One, two, three... Four, five. Hello? There it goes. If it's spent on a creature spell, but this is the ability, escape, so I don't know that this counts. Oh, it does! Haste. Yeah, it counts. Well, okay. That's pretty neat. That's pretty nifty. I would say. I would say that's pretty cool. Hello, my fellow kids, I suppose. That's the most hello, my fellow kids I've sounded in a while. All right. Well, there that goes. Ah, pause. All right. A moment to reflect, I suppose. Okay. Let me add that and say pass. All right. See how much damage they can do with one card that we know what it is. Song. Okay. Okay. That's not bad, I guess. I mean, they have no cards in hand. Nothing in the graveyard for which it matters. All right. Here goes. Who's doing what? Oh, okay. Pass right along. Well, thank you. Okay. Hmm. Now we'll do a minus. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Very nice indeed. Okay. Well, they didn't play. They couldn't play it, so we'll make them discard it. Totally matters. Totally matters. All right. Make them discard it as you do. Alright, how are you going to do this? I don't envy them this position. It doesn't matter too much. Alright. Doesn't matter at all, actually. And then, for my next trick... One... 
Nothing on my sleeve, nothing on my sleeve. Just a bunch of stuff is going on. And there we go. Yeah, that, that's not going to help too much. Plus one, plus one counter. Vigilance, Trample, and Indestruct. Hey, we finally got there. Against a neat little brew of elves. I appreciate a, a, little, a little variant on it. That's kind of cool. Okay, so it only took us almost two and a half hours, but we got there. And true to what I said, we have 2,000 coins. So I'm going to save those packs for when Evangeline gets here, and next episode will be Jumpstart. Uh, so that's it for now. Uh, take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.